Today I'm going to show you how to do the tucked away braid. I've got my hair curled with a flat iron and I'll include a link for this style under this video. Um, and I've got a little bit of hairspray in there but I'm, I've softened out this front section and I'm going to move my part over a little bit further and kind of include just a little bit more of that just so it's a little bit more dramatic. So just so you can kind of see, I've got a square divided off right on top. So you can see how much hair I've got. Depending on how thin your hair is or how thick it is, you can kind of tweak your section based on what you'll need. So the rest of the hair that's not going to be included in the braid, I'm going to just slip little clips in it, very kind of at the curve of the curl, just so they stay out of my way. So over here, we'll just do that. So just a little bit, it helps you from picking those up in the braid. And then we're going to start by dividing this very front section, and I would just lay this hair on top so it's easy to grab. Divide this front section into three, and then begin braiding. So do your first section like that, and then just grab a thin amount of hair and include that in with the middle. You can kind of hold your hair straight up as you start, but then as you start to get a little bit further, you might want to hold it back a little more. See, we're just grabbing from the hair that's loose and adding that into the middle. And then, oh, let me grab that there. And then I'm going to finish, because that's all I have left, with just this one section. And then kind of continue braiding just so you can kind of hold it in place. Can you hear my cat scratching at the door? If you have cats, you know that shut doors are not an option. Okay, so we've got the French braid right on top there. Now I would kind of push it forward like I've done in a few other tutorials just to loosen it up a little so it's not super tight going back. Hold on to the braid a little bit and you can take those clips out that kept the other hair out of the way. And I would lift up sort of a back section and kind of press the braid down a little bit with your finger right about there. Have a few bobby pins ready, and I would just stick those in and kind of push them in toward the braid. It's an easy way to kind of lock your braid in place. I would do about two pins. If you have thicker hair, you can do more. If you have thinner hair, you might be able to just do one. Okay, so we've got my braid in place, and then please don't leave it like a mohawk but you can kind of soften these curls and sort of place them. I might need to comb that out a little bit. Place them so they kind of cover the pins that you put in before. And then spray with a little bit of hairspray. It'll fall a little bit and sort of settle in the day goes. But there is how to do the tucked away French braid. So I'll show you from the side. And then it doesn't matter what side you part on, just switch it if you part on the other side than I do. Um, and you can also do a shorter braid if you don't want it to go back as far, or you could do a longer braid if you want to kind of turn it into a half updo, and then you can include the hair on the side.